Donald Trump now. I know y'all thought that I had left the earth. You haven't posted any type of video. It's because we've been mentally recovering. We have. Honey, it's been a the long, best of times hard and the worst night. of times. And I'm gonna see. Oh, God, I can hear it now. Who has such love? Oh. <laughs> Hi. We're doing a mukbang story time regarding her wedding. Yeah. It's a good place, uh, all you Crumble fans, don't get mad, but today we went with the Great American Cookie because we had plans of going to Krispy Kreme, our local Krispy Kreme in Kingsport, Tennessee. And listen, I'm going to give attaboys for good service and for good blah, blah, blah. Like our Crumble in Johnson City, uh -oh. Tennessee, unmatched. Mm -hmm. So sweet. And I give them shout outs all the time. Absolutely. Our Krispy Kreme in Kingsport, Tennessee. I don't even know why it's an operating business, and I mean... I would challenge that. anywhere in America to come up with a worse Krispy Kreme than ours. They never have anything. Just nothing. Just nothing. And we really wanted the Scooby-Doo special donuts. They didn't have a single one of them. Not one. Look at this, y'all. It is a double doozy cookie slice. Is it true? This... Is heaven on earth oh. and was nine dollars a piece. <laughs> yeah, truly. I bet I mean lore. Oh, we really needed a fork or something. It's hefty, honey. I thought I had a fork in there, but maybe not. Look at this thing. Wow. It looks like a starship. Mm. There's nothing better. Crumble, I love you, but. You need to get with them and ask how they make their cookies so moist. And them. Mm. Mm. Wow. So anyway. Mm. We're now two weeks out from the wedding. So we can adequately collect our thoughts, emotions, and feelings. Y'all. Yeah. I think the scene started because it was supposed to be a nice fall day. Mm-hmm. Here's napkins. Mm. Of um, a high of probably 60 degrees, right? 62. I think the high was like 60. And we were like, okay. Eight something. So I was like, oh my goodness. Maybe even 72. Like, that is fine. so manageable. And I was like, Tyler, the weather's, it was like a few days before and it was projected to be a high of 72, which means it might hit that, but most of the day you're going to be in your high 60s. My dream. Well, joke was on me. The high was 84 and it was 84 most of the day. Yeah. I mean, from very early on, 100% sun, no clouds. Oh, 100% sun. The thing I am thankful for is there was not a drop of rain <laughs> and honestly, I will take the heat over having that rainy day where you can't take pictures. Mm -hmm. But my venue was inside, but it was like an open air venue. So it didn't have air conditioning. It had overhead fans, but really all that does is kind of blow warm air around. So it was just hot. <laughs> it was really hot. But I'm thankful for no rain. So the weather honestly was the least of my worries. How the day planned out. So, I hired, I'm not even going to say who it is, because yeah. I'm not in the business of destroying someone. No. Even though she destroyed my day. Yeah. Hold, please. We're not the top. We're not going to throw anybody under the bus. No. We're really not. No. And we're also not, let me set the scene of our lives, we're not the people who complain about anything. Oh. If my food's wrong in a restaurant, as long as it's not smothered in onions, I'm not saying a word. No. Because we're like, we don't want to inconvenience them. If a restaurant's yep. not, if a restaurant's getting ready to close within the next like 30 minutes, we, we won't, won't even go, go because we don't want to like be a, no. be that person. Yeah. This. I heard a, it, it was an individual, but she said she had a team. And, I miss that team. Uh, to make it easier. She offers flowers, catering, and decorating. I've been to events that she has catered and, and decorated for. Put them and take down. Put them and take down. I, 
she's wonderful. I've been personally experienced her events on small scales and it was wonderful. So I met with her and I explained the size of my wedding, which was three to 350. Excuse me, y'all, <laughs> was what we were expecting. I was like, are you equipped to handle this size of event? She was like, the car is trying to park yeah. here. A car that requires backup lights. And she was like, oh yeah, oh yeah, we're good, we're good. But we, she didn't have enough tables, so I knew I was gonna have to rent a few tables and a few chairs. Fine. No big deal. I was like, are you equipped to decorate all 40 tables I'm gonna have? Yeah, oh gosh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, um, she has a warehouse where you can like go and pick out the decor that you want. So went to her warehouse, went through, picked out everything. And I was like, this is what I want on the tables. This is, you know, here's my color palette. Sent her pictures of what I wanted my bouquet to look like. Sent her everything, picked out everything. We're good. So it's a couple weeks before the wedding. And I was like, mom, I was like, we need to go back and meet with this lady. We'd paid her like uh, a portion of what the grand total was, which was a very significant amount of money. If you've got married recently, you know the cost of things. I looked online and the average wedding cost is $35,000. Oh my Lord. Now my wedding was not $35,000, but my wedding was also not cheap because of the amount of people that we wanted to have there. So you can imagine how much money we were paying this woman to feed 350 people, decorate for my ceremony, 40 tables, my food tables, and do all my flowers. You can imagine that price and set up takedown that's yeah. a biggie yeah <clears throat> so i was like we need to go meet with her again well she forgot our second meeting and so i was like yeah. so i called her she showed up it was late no big deal and i felt like she was really scattered and she was just like talking about how busy she's been and how overwhelmed she is which causes a bride anxiety like i know you're busy was your mom anxious yes but she I was trying yeah Yes, but she was trying to, like, not be anxious for me, mm -hmm. you know? So, I met, went and met with her the second time, and it was like I never met with her before. I was like, rehashed everything, went back through the warehouse, made a list myself of writing down things I wanted, gave it to her. Went back a third time because I was still anxious, and I was like, well, at this point, it's just going to be what it's going to be, but I felt better. So I was like, okay, we're ready. We'll load in at midnight. Cause I was like, she was like, this is gonna be a lot to do before your 4.30 ceremony time. I was like, absolutely. She said, let's get there at midnight. We'll load in tables and chairs. And that way we just Why have- midnight? Cause you got it starting at midnight? I could get in the venue starting at midnight. Okay. So I had a couple people who were gonna help load tables and chairs in. Then that way they just had to decorate a uh, Sunday. Well, she texts my mom. She's like, we have had so many weddings this weekend. We're too tired. We'll be there at 7.30 in the morning. Okay. I was like, okay. Or 7. They said they'd be there at 7. They got there at 7.30. Well, I started getting ready at 8.30 because we had to be ready for pictures at 2. And she was supposed to have my bouquets at the shop where we were getting ready by like 1.45. Oh, see, I didn't know that piece of the puzzle. So she yeah. was supposed to bring the bouquets to the shop crew. or somebody. Yep. One of the crew. And I use the crew with the most loose quotation marks you could ever imagine. Well, I had to go meet my sound guy down at the venue, which was literally half a mile from where we were getting ready. Miss him. Mm -hmm. And I walked in. <laughs> I walked in. And it just was like there were tables up and there were tablecloths on them. That's about it. And she, they were hanging the string lights. And my two main things were I wanted string lights and I wanted tool hung from the ceiling because my venue, like I said, was very was industrial. kind of industrial. Yes. And I wanted to class A it softness. up. So I was like, what I have to have is lots of string lights, lots of tool. She was like, oh, got it. And I said, if you can't, can't I understand. Talking, can't be talking about her. Yeah. She has everything. Yeah. And I was like, I'll hire somebody else to come in and do that because that is such a must for me. She was like, no, got it, girl. I got it, girl. Well, I get there and she's like, Lord, it's wide in here. I had no idea. It's too wide for my tool. My wedding at this point was in four hours. And I was like. You still didn't break down over that. I didn't break down because I was in the mindset of, 
I'm getting married in four hours and my, I paid too much for the makeup I had on. So next, I was frustrated, but I just left it left alone. It. I mean, what do you do with that? Yeah, I mean, well, we go back and, um, we finished getting ready. That was a whole ordeal because we had girls going and getting their makeup done at a different location. Whole thing. But it was good. It was good. So I saw they, lots of shoved me in the car. Moving parts that day. Yep. They shoved me in the car. My dress was huge. I'll show it to you. But they shoved me in the car and take me down the street to where we are supposed to have our pictures, but my bouquets never came, so the girls went to get them and meet my mom to get them. That's right. I'd like to show you what my bouquets were supposed to look like before I show you what, what they, they did. tried to give me. This is when... This is when it started getting hairy, folks. <laughs> this is what I asked for my bride's uh, bouquet and my uh, bridesmaid's bouquets to look As like. As like an inspo. I was like, you know, it's pinks and... Whites and creams. Whites and I dare say not burgundy, more even purple but like y you get the picture okay she was like oh i can do that i said great we get down to the train station where we're taking pictures and my friend kayla gets out of the car and i just i know these girls too well they, they try to hide stuff from me but i know them too well she tries to hand me this as my bridal bouquet I don't even know. Can y'all see what's going on here? Fake berries and fake flowers and about five real white cream flowers. If y'all look here, that's a broken flower. Shoot. That's a broken flower. Okay. These are all fake. All oh, that's fake. And there's a few flowers. That's when my breakdown started. I was like, what is that? They were like, it's your bouquet. I was like, that ain't my bouquet. And they all looked like that. Did you tell them that? Even the bridesmaids' bouquets? Yeah. The bridesmaids' bouquets look bouquets. like that, just even smaller. Oh. Way smaller. Like two roses per bouquet. I don't even know Maybe. if it was a rose and if there were two. And if they were alive. Well, they clearly weren't alive. Even the live flowers were dead. They were brown. And wilted. Wilted. Broken. Just ugly. I mean, I don't know another way. And I was like, what's happening? My precious friends, Austin and Stephanie Mitchell, that... Flew here from Florida to be here for my wedding. Stephanie was one of my bridesmaids. Her husband, Austin, is like, I'm going to fix it. This was after Tyler, I'm not going to say where, goes to a flower field and starts picking wildflowers trying to make me a bouquet. Mm -hmm. I wasn't working. Nope. I'll never. I have the image of you tossing those flowers. Oh, I said, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, onto the ground. Yep. So Austin looks at me and he's like, take your pictures. I'm going to fix it. And I was like, Okay. I don't have anything to Can't. do, but trust him. All right. So I take my bridal portraits without a bouquet because I'm not holding and we, whatever in the world that was. Nobody else could go anywhere because we all had to be in the pictures. So we had to stay and we had to send him out to troubleshoot. Yeah. So he comes back with, he cleaned out three food cities of every pink and white flower that they had. And they pieced me together a bouquet. Uh, who oh, did, who took that video? I think probably Kayla, but hold on. I've got to turn. I'm glad somebody was. Yeah. Oh, my God. Hot. Carly. Hot. Oh, my God. We've got a wedding thing on the arbor. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We've got to be convinced that we're going to be the arbor. Kids probably care more about the arbor than I think we can convince her that she doesn't need a bouquet. <laughs> they were trying Stephanie. to convince me that I didn't need a bouquet. <laughs> Even if we have to take these flowers and make an arbor something, we're going to have to do that. Yeah. Because I can tell you. Because. Wait. Yeah. There's another video, I think. Yeah. It's fine. What happened? Oh. Uh, I just pulled one. Okay. Fine. It's fine. Okay. Carly made it. Yes. Okay. 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 Now I'm going to hold and take this rubber band. Somebody. If there's any broken ones, it's fine because we're probably going to have to make Michael a good meal. <laughs> yeah. That wasn't so, even. That wasn't even. No, that was just the beginning. Because so, that's when me and him went back to make the bouquet. Yep. So. Yeah, I'll call her back. 
So the flower debacle. So I'm like, y'all, that's when I panicked because I was like, she's supposed to do my arbor. And if my arbor has fake cranberries sticking out of it, I'm going to lose. She's not being over dramatic too about the flowers. They were literally dead and wilted and looked like absolute garbage dead and, and had cranberries shoved in the, like to fill. So we get done with our pictures and we go back to the salon. Well, next thing I know, all of my bridesmaids have left. Every single one of them except for two. And I had 11 or 12. Yeah. Two of them. And I was like, hmm, where's everybody at? Steph, Florida, and Carly, my friend from North Carolina, they're like, oh, shoot. Well, you're just going to cool off. And I was like, okay. Meanwhile, you should have seen us. And they're nowhere to be found. No one has said a word to me. I have no idea what's going on. And I can tell they're hiding something from me. And I was like, what's going on? I didn't realize you were at the salon that time, during that time. Everybody was supposed to come back to the salon. Nobody did, except mm -hmm. for me yep. and Carly and Steph. That's because they had to go decorate the whole entire thing about 45 minutes before the ceremony. Uh oh. You were the one there. You take over. That, that explanation. So after the flowers my confidence level in this individual was at an all-time low. In her team. her team. Of two people. That looked like the literal goof troop. <laughs> um, my confidence level was none. I had no yeah. confidence in this person. So I was like, y'all, we're gonna all hands on deck. As many people as we can, we need to go. Y'all had to fix the arbor too. I walked in and the first thing I saw was blood red tool fabric wrapped around her arbor and I literally looked at that lady and I was like okay you've got to get that off immediately 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 before you do anything else the before red has to go that's my least do. favorite color before you do anything else on this earth that has to be unwrapped mm -hmm. and she was like well she told me red I was like I don't care what she told you because first of all she didn't tell you red because she hates red <laughs> so I'm just telling you right now you have to take mm -hmm. that off and she was like well we just don't. She was like, it's just been rough. She said, all the flowers that I brought here were from an event we had two or three days ago. So we were running low on flowers as it is. So do you all have any more of those? And me and Austin are back there making the bouquet. Me making and my bouquet. I still don't have a bouquet. She comes back there and she's like, hey, can we use your flowers? Because we're running low. They, they made my bouquet. And the bridesmaids bouquets. And we're going to make my arbor out of flowers. They used it a wedding days ago wilted dead no wonder they were brown brown and not my colors so i was like sure you can use them because <laughs> i mean what am i what are we gonna say because she didn't have any on the arbor so she was trying to do that meanwhile when i tell you none of the food has been brought out none of the food has been brought out none of the tables the tables were decorated but the food tables weren't ready the cake table was not even thinking about being ready they were supposed to decorate the cake with flowers too we did that. I know, but... The groom's cake table was not even beginning to be ready. Nobody was taking charge. How far out are we at the ceremony right now? Probably 40 minutes. Because that's when I was like, okay. <laughs> this is what we're going to have to do. The cake lady was like, nobody's in charge, and I need somebody to be in charge. And I was like, okay, well, mm -hmm. that's going to be me. Yeah. So what do you need? She was like, okay, the groom's cake is going to melt. So you need to take it to a fridge before the ceremony. So I grabbed Christy and I said, we're going to have to go to my old real estate office and put this cake in the fridge. We don't even work there anymore. Don't even work there. She said, okay, got it. So we did. So we went to do that. In the meantime, Austin was still back there fooling with the flowers, helping her with the arbor. They still haven't put out any food. We are in panic mode because let me tell you about what happens in the South. It doesn't matter what time 90% mm -hmm. of these people were not even invited to the ceremony the ceremony was going to be very small and the reception was going to be really big well the reception was still over an hour away and people were arms oh, starting to get there <laughs> and crawl underneath Under. the garage doors because we had all these garage doors like 12 garage doors and they were all at different heights because it wasn't ready to be opened yet I mean, but it was hot but people were crawling from the outside in like zombies like I would just look over and people be like <laughs> like coming in and I was like why are these people coming in and my invitation said that we were having a private ceremony so if you didn't get an invitation to the private ceremony why are you coming in I guess I didn't really realize where you were I was just so panicked there just trying to get oh yeah I was order. at the salon just sitting there so then the crumble cookies aren't out they're in giant boxes thank you crumble thank you crumble for catering they donated, they donated 300, 300 cookies. catering cookies um three giant boxes I was like y'all nothing's out 
Um, <laughs> we've got to get these cookies out. So me and three or four of the bridesmaids are doing that. Meanwhile, the table that this lady has brought for the cake table is so shoddy and warped <laughs> that it's literally starting to like, from the weight of all the pedestals with all the cakes and all the cupcakes, there's also Sam's cupcakes, which I was convinced she forgot. Mm -hmm. Because by this point, her, she was the biggest liar I've ever met. And she, I kept saying, where are the cupcakes? She was like, we've got them. We're just not gonna bring them out to the last minute because they're gonna melt. And I thought she was just making it up because she didn't have them. Yeah. She did have them. We got the cupcakes out. That is information out. I received at the salon. I got information that Kayla was gonna go to Johnson City and get the cupcakes and I was like, She's going to miss the wedding. Yeah. But that thankfully was not true. Meanwhile, the table was so cheap and warped and the way it was all situated that her big three-tiered cake was slowly like every five minutes. <laughs> oh. It was supposed to be decorated with flowers. She had already sent her a picture of how she wanted it decorated. I went and told that lady, I was like, hey, we're not comfortable decorating this thing with flowers because we don't know what it's supposed to be and this was supposed to be you. And she was like, well, I don't have time to do it. She said, I haven't even started the food. I said, okay, Kayla. So me and Kayla, I had her hold the picture. Yep. And we <laughs> put the flowers in that we bought from Food City that we were sharing with the lady that brought the dead flowers. Yeah. <laughs> uh, did that, decorated the cake. That lasted about 15 minutes before it was so leaning tower of Pisa that they had to take the top tier off, prop it up, not even have the top tier on the cake. Take my topper off the top tier, put it on the second tier. <laughs> Do all that. We're helping them put food out because the croissants are still in bags. Uh -huh. The soup is still in closed containers. Yeah. Nothing is in its little vestibule, uh -huh. the sour cream. I'll never forget at one point I was literally LOLing to myself because I just saw this big vat of sour cream <laughs> sitting beside a sign that says, this is where our story begins. <laughs> <laughs> Next to the sour cream. Um, so the lady is still- I'm, I'm at the salon and it's probably about 4.20. My ceremony starts at 4.30. So I looked at Steph and I said, okay. I said, Steph, it's time to cut the crap. I said, what's going on? She said, it's bad. <laughs> I was like, okay. At this point, I was kind of like- I had forgotten like, that she wasn't there, but she was there to calm you down. Yeah. While we were all literally- Sweat in there. They're in their dress clothes. I, I'm in my full on- Suit. Which sends me into an autism spiral anyway, because I've got such touch in my neck. There's buttons. Tie, suits jacket, on, tie, jacket, loafers. I've got a gigantic, gigantic, sore and gash on my Achilles because the shoes that I had were really cute, but they were about new. a half size too small and they, were, and new. they were new and they were rubbing on my Achilles. I mean, laps. Zing, zing, zing. The girls are in high heels and formal dresses, just zipping. And I mean, honestly, And my mother God. and my father oh. and my brother-in-law and my stepson all in there, my husband, decorating the tables. Just trying to get it situated. Just getting it to the point where I can come in. And I told Steph, I said, here's the thing. I said, regardless of how it looks, I have to go down the aisle at 430 because we have people coming yes. to the reception. Like, we have to go. And it's really annoying <laughs> if you've ever been to a wedding where it's just, yep. they keep pushing it back and keep yep. pushing it back. And it was hot. Yep. So, it was like, this show's got to go on the road, so we're staying to the time limit. Yeah. And... The thing that was the most frustrating to me was this lady knew all the chaos that was going on and she was still just like nonchalant. Just like not stressed at no, all. No, not stressed in the slightest. And we're all in panic My mode. mother is running around like right before my wedding and my dad and like my in-laws and oh God. So anyways, I get there. We get through this ceremony. That was a whole other situation I'm not even gonna talk about on this video. We got through the ceremony. And then we had to go take more pictures because now I have a bouquet. Now I have a piece together Food City bouquet that actually looks like a bridal bouquet. I'll be happy to share that with you as well. And I believe, because that, that's when the bridal party was not part of the pictures, right? You or all came we? back with me. I miss that bouquet I made. Yep, that's what they pieced together for me. But wasn't there a period of time where we were between the reception or between the ceremony and the reception where we were still? Uh, oh, it was still after that. Yeah, we went and did pictures and then y'all went back. Me and Michael did pictures oh, yeah, after right. we did pictures. So, so at came. that point, we were getting the food out. 
we were helping them do everything. What else happened during that? Well, time? after when I got back, so oh, we. I know what it was. Well, go ahead. This has nothing to do with her. So we had everything set up. This is what oh. kills me. The reception hasn't started yet. Nobody mm -hmm. has eaten. Nobody has even really sat down. People are still coming in We're because doing they're extremely early, which I get. But like, find a seat, sit down, and just stay there. Yeah. These people are coming up as we are sweating, sweating, putting out the cookies. They're getting a plate. I said to Kayla, who is that? She said, that's Harold. I said, who is, Harold. who is Harold? She said, that's Phil's friend. I said, tell him to get out. I was like, he doesn't need to be in here right now, and he definitely doesn't need to be eating these cookies. And everybody was on edge. Edge. And then Harold came. Cool. Getting the cookies as we're putting them out, and then Phil, <laughs> her dad, love him, but he's trying to come over there and be funny and take cookies. And at one point, he literally, to be funny, takes like three cookies as we're putting them out. Two fall on the floor. And I said, Phil, you need to go away from here. And he literally just did, because I think he knew that we were, like, about to literally snap. <laughs> God. Please. So, anyways, I get back. We make our grand entrance into the reception. I'm beyond emotionally spent at this point, because I had obviously seen it when I walked in. Mm -hmm. And I was like, what is this? Mm -hmm. So... My mom comes up to me at the reception. She's like, oh, you're beautiful. I said, why do you have a boutonniere pinned on you? She was like, oh. This? I love so this. I was like, why do you have that on? She's like, well, Austin made it. And I'm like, where's your corsage that we paid for? And then I looked. The grandmothers don't have anything on. My mother-in-law. I don't know if she had a boutonniere on or nothing. It was one of the two. All the the lady showed up with no corsages. All the flowers were used for the arbor. That we bought the flowers. She had this specific number of corsages, this specific number of boutonnieres, this specific number of bouquets. She didn't show up with anything. So my mother, the mother of the bride, walked down with a boutonniere pinned on her. <laughs> and if you know my mother with a boutonniere <laughs> pinned on is hilarious. Oh, not going to I literally was like, Mom. She's like, you need to enjoy your reception. I said, I will enjoy my reception. I was there for this moment. <laughs> There's a picture of me telling my mother and Tyler with it like this. There is? Yes. I think mom sent it to me. Hold, please. <laughs> well, here's a bit of joyful news. This was us. There was me and Michael yeah. after. It was completely fine. And at the end of the day, we were married and we can look at back and At one point, I was now. manically running around with my Coke Zero trying to force you to drink it. <laughs> Remember? And you're like, I just need water. Yeah, I was like, I just need water. I was so dehydrated. This is almost 30 minutes. I'm about to wrap it up. There's just a couple more things. But, oh, here it is. I haven't seen this. Oh, out of my mind. Okay. Out of my mind. I'm out of my mind in that photo. I can go ahead and tell you. I had just entered the reception, mind you. There's me and my mom. Yeah. There's her basically telling me. Like. It's okay. It's okay. Calm down. I wish you could see my face. And then right over here. <laughs> e. <laughs> the waiting planner. Yeah. So, honey, there we are. Um, and that was me telling my mother that she was not to give this lady another dime of money that we owed her. We were going to give her final payment that night. Um, not another dime because of how... <gasps> and I didn't get to spend the day with my bridesmaids because they were decorating my venue. Oh, I'm not kidding and I'm not I'm not trying to toot our own horn because we don't have yeah. anything to do with anything. But had... It wouldn't have come together. We, there, I don't think there would, could have been a reception or a ceremony yeah. had it not been for the bridal party yep. and the family. Yep. Basically, oh. anybody but the people that were hired to do it. The only people in my wedding party was supposed to be my stepdaughter and my sister, my stepson, and then my brother-in-law. Okay. Well, my stepdaughter apparently decided to go on a trip. She didn't get back in time. So, in the midst of the breakdown, Bad Michael texts me. He's like, it's not normal. she's not here. And I was like, okay. okay. So I was like, dun, 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 dun. what friend do I pick that's not going to offend another friend? Because it was just family in the wedding party. I was like, okay, who's a neutral friend? Whose dress will look good with Madison's? Because they both had the same dress. I was like, Carly, you're on. She was like, okay. Carly is a performer by trade, literally. And I knew that she could just do it. So honey, 30 minutes before the wedding, Carly found out she was actually in the wedding party. 
but she was completely fine with it and handled it like a pro. The most chaotic day of my entire 29 years of life. And had it not been for my friends and my family and Michael's family. It got even more chaotic after that. That was 50% yeah. of the chaos yeah. because then, so I, at that point, y'all know me, that I had not prepared for. I had prepared for a full day of wedding stuff, knowing that yeah. everything was going to be taken care of. Yeah. And like, I only had to stress about yeah. things that were out of our control. I didn't realize we were going to have to do all that. By the time I did that and had to take charge and had to tell people where to go and what to do and try to fight with the lady that was there, like my, I was, I was done. I was checked out. So about 30 minutes into the reception, reception. I took my Irish goodbye. I left. I knew she wouldn't care because I was like, I yeah. literally have nothing left in me. Yeah. Plus, the problem was, out of all those 300 people, I probably knew about 200. I didn't even know who all was there. There were so many people. So, I, I didn't had even so know many conversations. <laughs> so many people were trying to talk to me in the midst of the chaos. Mm -hmm. And I, like, I just, I had had it. Not in a, I wasn't mad. I wasn't, didn't right. feel a certain type of way. Exhausted. I, exa socially, mentally, physically drained. Couldn't take it anymore. I left and went home. However, it was like 9 o'clock. And I was like, okay. It's time for everything to be done. I'm going to call Phil, her dad, and just get a feel for how it's going. How the breakdown's going. Because I knew. Yeah. I knew. I knew before I called. I was like, hey. He was like, hey. <sighs> oh, my god. I was like, what you doing? He was like, well, we're just putting stuff up. I said, okay, I'm going to come. I'm on my way to help. He said, that'd be good. <laughs> I was like, hoping he'd be like, no. I figured he'd be like, no, we've got it under control. It's fine. But I was like, okay, great. Okay. So I get there. Probably 930. And I think I left and got to my house at 130. Four hours of cleanup. Putting tables away, putting chairs away. Now, granted, some of the stuff was the theirs, churches, the yeah. churches. But. But 97% was this person. And, again, not in a rush. Tell her what she said. Oh, she said multiple things. She was like, I'm just so glad she has such a good support system at this wedding that can help her do so much stuff. And I was like, honey, yeah, me too. Me because too, because she would have walked down a bare aisle. And then at one point, we were, I was sweating again. I'm bleeding because I'm, oh. the people that she had can't even do anything. And, um, I paid these people a lot of money, y'all. She said, Well, my dad did. I have to stop soon and make me a baked potato. <laughs> After she was like going out for smoke breaks during the whole thing, we're wheeling tables in, putting stuff up. Me, the bride, I'm sorry, me, the groom's mom, dad, son, son and brother are dumping trash the trash is exploding literally we're scooping trash with our hands into the dumpster my dad said he trash picked up like, a trash bag out of like the trash can and when he pulled it up the bottom of it fell out and the trash just went off like a big bladder so we were having to scoop it up with our hands and we're talking like i'm talking food that people had been eating and mixed with cake that... mixed with drinks mixed with like chewing tobacco oh my gosh It's not okay. Because I'm the type of person, <laughs> okay. I'm the type of person, I'm so OCD that I'm like, this place has to be left exactly like yes. we found well, it. Well, it had to or I would have gotten fined. Yeah. I was like, we can't leave it. Like, everything has to be out. Everything has to be cleaned up. Her people were helping and it was just, I mean, it was a My dad's bummer. friend stayed, Todd stayed, Josh Medlin stayed to help tables. Most of the family. And, and me and Michael's family. Kayla. Kayla, Shelby was there for part of the time. Uh, who else? I guess that was mainly Brian Bowen. Yes. I love him. He was there. He was a trooper. Um, but we all got it done. We had to clean, take everything down, sweep, get all the trash out, make sure all their rented stuff was on the outside. Mm. It was just... Not okay. A Christmas to remember. <laughs> Oh, then my mom had, you know, we paid for all the food and stuff. Mom put, like, the rest of the baked potatoes and the croissants, like, in a tote that she had. They took it. Oh, I didn't know that. Uh, the flowers, 
that they bought from Food City and made my arbor, my bouquets, they took it. They took the flowers off the arbor? Yeah. Was it their arbor? It was their arbor. So whoever had an event the next day after my wedding, I hope you enjoyed them flowers. I'm sure that's what was used. It was just incredible, y'all. true nightmare. It really was, and I'm not one to easily say that. I'm usually one that's like, people are being over dramatic. This, nothing in this Thank has been Thank God over for my friends and family. I mean that with my whole heart. Like, the, it wouldn't have happened. And I'm forever indebted to them. And I hate that, like, the fun of the day was taken out from everyone. We didn't get to hang out. We didn't get to spend time together. We didn't get to... The pictures were stressful because part of them were done without bouquets. And that was taken away. So, I sent this lady a very strongly worded email. Just telling... Not in a mean way. No, not in a mean way. Just stating matter of facts about everything that had went wrong and everything she had promised me and begging her not to overcommit herself to another event that she wasn't capable of handling and causing another bride to have those memories. Once again, now we can look back and laugh, laugh through the pain. Yeah. But in that moment, the stress, I know everyone's stress level through the roof. Yeah. Even the ones that weren't getting stressed. Yeah. And I had friends and family from out of town, out of state. Like, I didn't even get to enjoy all that. It would have been embarrassing. It it was embarrassing. But it would have even been, at what it, it was. It would have been mortifyingly embarrassing. And people were like, it was so beautiful. It was so beautiful. And if you didn't know what it was supposed to be, it was beautiful. Yeah. It was. Yeah. And it all came together. But what it was intended to be. And these, they didn't know what I had planned. They didn't know what was supposed to go where. Oh, no. My memory table with our grandparents that have passed away, we made a memory table. She was supposed to bring a sign and have candles. Was that even out? The only pictures, it was just pictures of the grandparents. There were no candles, no signs, no nothing, no flowers, no nothing on that table. It was, it was just heartbreaking, truthfully. But at the end of the day, Michael and I were married. We have some memories to discuss. And then tomorrow we leave on our honeymoon. I was going to see if there was... Here was us right after the ceremony. See, they're happy. Oh, we were very happy. It didn't take away from that. Now, the best thing there were these marquee letters. Mm -hmm. That was pretty. That, like, made the whole thing. They're supposed to be tool up there, honey. But it was too wide. It was too wide, but we had string lights. <laughs> Here's my sister and my makeshift bridesmaid, Carly. They looked great. Mm -hmm. That's my niece Tatum. I don't know this the the uh, the actual ceremony was a blur to me. Same. I miss when you tied the knots. <laughs> In dead silence. Yeah. <laughs> Mackenzie's and that's it's not his fault. God love it. The man the man that did the music was not the lady that did this, but Mackenzie just kept saying, especially at the rehearsal dinner. We went through it like five times. Well, he times. wasn't at the rehearsal. He well, wasn't. that's the problem. That's part of the problem. The whole thing was, the only thing I don't want is awkward silence. The only thing I don't want is awkward silence. The only thing I don't want is awkward silence. The only thing I don't want is There was so silence. much awkward <laughs> I've never heard more awkward silence in my life. Yeah. Y'all, but at that point... On. When you when y'all went up there, and all I could hear was <laughs> to tie that knot, and all you could hear was like breathing. I was like, hey! "What about the prayer? What about the prayer? What about the prayer?" I was like, "Please, please, 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 don't let there be any awkward songs. Just play music, play music." And dad, dad. I thought he would lead the prayer. We had everyone come up and pray for us. Because there was only, like I said, like 30 people. I thought, Dad, <laughs> I thought Dad would lead the prayer. Like a normal, short, here they are, we love them, say. But what it turned into he was. Said, he said, pray in your own special way. And this is what you heard. Hey, Amen. There was no <laughs> Yes, it did. If there's video of me during that, I'm like this. I'm holding Michael's hands, but I'm desperately looking around. And I'm you're like, probably like clenching them like. Yeah. Oh. I was like, 
trying to get someone's attention to like. And you know me, it's like Tyler in Sunday school where I'm like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh -huh. Y'all. But here we One are. One for the books, Patty. One here for the books. Here we are. Here we are. <laughs> was not so, what we expected. But honestly, I'm glad we had no idea what it was going to be. Oh. Because I think it would have sent us all well, into a spiral. Well, and they know. Here's the reason y'all may be like, why didn't they tell you? They didn't want me to be stressed. But my friends know me well enough to know that had I known the true severity of the situation, this is how I would have coped with it. Shut it down. Oh, shut it completely <laughs> down. You would have been like, everybody get out. I love y'all, but we're not doing it. I would have told my dad. It. And that's, that's my coping mechanism is to just... I would have been like, Dad, because my dad married us. Dad, Michael, come to the salon. Yep. I do. Yep. Put the ring on. We're going to the house. That's how I cope with it, which is not healthy and not okay. But they knew that if I knew the true And we would have had process, to make an announcement to the entire group. I mean, like y'all, unfortunately. Here's these cookies. Harold, Harold, take it away. We would have made it work. But we, yeah, it would have been shut down, as you know. Yeah. So they were like, don't breathe the word. And then when I got there, everybody was like. Hi. <laughs> but there's like running mascara down the everybody's face. Oh. We're all sweating. <laughs> like you would not believe. When my mother had a boot near pin on her. Yep. Every time I would come over to bring it, she would just be like, now what can we do? And I'm like, well, we need to do this, 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 this. Thank God for you, honey. They were all troopers. Tyler was a trooper. I can't believe that he didn't just shut down and go home. I knew there was no choice. <laughs> there was no, no There was no chance of that happening because those big strong women from the jail, Anna did good, Taylor did good. Honestly, Christy did good too. They they all did really well. They nobody had like a panic attack meltdown. Kayla is great in in situations yes. like that. Yes. She's over dramatic in general in life and I would tell but her that to her face. Oh. But when push comes to shove, she can uh, delegate and get sh stuff accomplished. Yeah. And that's what they were doing. I think everybody just put on their face and they're like, yeah. we have to get it done. And I mean, they did. We had another option. My nephew, my, it's Michael's nephew that's now my nephew. He's 10. He was going around putting the little placemats on the tables, God little place cards. It. I didn't know that. Yeah, Tadis was. My nephew, the ring bear, had to decorate some. I mean, it was all hands on deck. And I understand it's a wedding and there's a lot of people and there's going to be things that come yes, up that day. Absolutely. But Honey. Here's here would be my recommendation. Recommendation. I had no idea. I mean, this was one of the, this was the first kind of wedding like that that I've ever been a part of. If you can, don't <laughs> don't. But if you're going to have a bigger wedding with a lot of moving parts, you need to try to find a local wedding planner. So maybe not a planner, yeah. but like a go-to person that you pay to literally know what's going on with everything. The cake, the sound, the food, the decoration. Who's the contact person? Who's yeah. doing the flowers? When are they getting them? Like, I think that lady tried to be that yeah. and failed epically. Yeah. But I think that if you had that, it would be a lot better. Yeah. And just to know and for them be like, look, that, this is on you to make sure that you yeah. talk to all these people and make sure everything can be done. We're going to oh, yeah, yeah. So, y'all, it was a lot different than we thought it would be, but it was also fine. It, it ended with a happy ending. Oh, it was completely fine. And it is, it is so, everybody posts on Facebook, they're like, the day of my dreams. Honey, it's the day of my something, but it wasn't my dreams. However, right on par for the course. Here's my pretty rings. This is one good thing that came out of the day. And we're going on our honeymoon tomorrow, and I can't wait to decompress still two weeks later. So this is my engagement ring. It's a 3.6 emerald cut, 3.6 carat. Where's the... On a solid gold band. He had this custom made for me at a place in New York. <clears throat> I love that. What? That it came from New York? Yes. And then this is my wedding band. It has oval and marquee shaped diamonds in it. Also in gold. I'm a big gold fan. I don't think you're going to be able to get the full 
image. Yeah. But, anyways, that's my that, little... That had to have been. I was thinking about that. Because that was on a Sunday. Uh-huh. Please tell me. Oh, no, you all did not work Monday, right? We didn't work Monday. No. That would have been a oh, lot. Oh, I couldn't have done it. Because we... It's when two weeks later. When did you work later. on Tuesday? Yeah. Whew. Even that's a lot. To go through that and then still have to go back well, to work. Well, and of course, honey, if you know Michael Cole... He don't wait around for nothing. We went to Social Security office. We went to get me a new driver's license, do my change of address form at the postal office. Um, get I would our, be one of those people if I was a if I was a woman. I would okay. be one of those people that just kept my old last name, not because I wanted to, because I was yeah. too lazy to do everything. It's a lot. We got our marriage uh, oh, really kind. certificate. We did all that, so like we haven't rested. Then my house went live this week. Oh, yeah. In the midst. I had a yard sale. I had a purge. Tyler came over with me and my mom and helped clean my house from top to bottom for pictures. So, within two weeks, I've gotten married and listed my house and we leave for our cruise tomorrow. <laughs> then when we get back, it'll basically be time for the holidays. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. But my sure. house will be under contract in an hour mm -hmm. with a sweet, precious little lady i stalked every single one of them on my ring camera mm -hmm. um and decided that that was the one who needed my house yep. it wasn't even the best offer but sometimes you just have a piece about it anyways i'm excited i'm married my last name is cole and honey if you still think that me and tyler aren't sitting in the tj maxx parking lot even oh. after i'm married you're dead wrong you think any of that chaos is ever gonna end ever no honey he knew who he was marrying and and he's invited we've been out to eat we went we to, went this week we to went to kitchen. main garden we went to the kitchen all three of us yep. love it but then also honey there's gonna be times where he gets left at home and he loves that yes and we do our own thing as always he hates going out so honey cheers i was looking for my phone it's being recorded thank you for watching this entire full-length feature film hope you got a laugh out of it love you mean it don't forget to like comment subscribe hit that bell notification i'm fine i'm completely alive i'm just busy and i get distracted See you. Damn.